Good day, this is MC Squared Coaching Center and this is the continuation of the Civil Service Exam Math Review. Okay, so this is the Civil Service Exam Math Review Frequently Asked Questions, Part 7 na po tayo. So, uh, good day, I'm Engineer Melvin Jan Habla Ban Banzuelo. So, simula lang po natin. So, again, this is uh, mathematics para po sa civil service exam, frequently asked question, part 7. So, ito po yung first problem po for part 7. The average of four numbers is 40. If three of the four numbers are 30, 40, and 62, what is the fourth number? Again, the average of four numbers is 40. If three of the four numbers are 30, 40, and 62, what is the fourth number? Is it letter A, 42, letter B, 38, letter C, 28, letter D, 18, letter E, none of this. Okay, so ano ba yung ibig sabihin ng average class? Ang average, i-add mo yung lahat ng number and then i-divide mo kung ilang number sila. Then sa problem na ito class, ilang number meron? So, meron tayong 4 numbers. Okay? Meron tayong 4 numbers. So, ibig sabihin, i-add natin yung 4 numbers, then yung isang number hindi po natin alam, given yung tatlong number, and given yung average. So, yan po yung mangyayari. So, 30, yan po, 30, plus 40, plus 62, plus X. Ano yung X? X, ito yung 4th number na hinahanap. Since meron tayong apat na number para makuha ang average divided by 4. Again, bakit divided by 4? Kasi apat na number po sila. So, ang average daw ng apat na number is 40. Okay. Then after that, yung nakuha na natin yung equation. Ito po yung equation buo. Multiply po natin both sides ng equation natin ng, ng 4. So, multiply po natin ito ng 4. Ito po siya, class. Multiply po ng 4. Ang mangyayari is, yan, multiply ng 4. Ito, 4 din. Okay? So, pag multiply mo ng 4, multiply na ito, multiply natin 4. Ito, class, pasok natin dito. And then, 40 times 4. Usually, ito, class, makakancel. Okay? Kaya, mawawala po ang 4 dyan. So, mangyayari, ang may iwan na lang is, Ayan po siya. Okay? So, 30 plus 40 plus 62 plus X equals to 4 times 40. And then, itong 4 times 40, that is 160. Then, i-add din natin to 30 plus 40 plus 62, that is 70 plus 62, that is 132. So, kaya we have 132 plus X. Saan galing 132? 30 plus 40 plus 62, that is 132. Plus x equals to 160. And then, ito siya class, 132, i-transpose ni mo to other side, kaya ang maiwan is x is equals to, equal, x equals to 160 minus 132. So, 160 minus 32, 132 is 28. And 28, that is letter, letter C. Okay, letter C po yung correct answer. Problem number 2, the sum of two numbers is 78. Their difference is 18. Find the smaller of the two numbers. So, kanina, yung problem number 1, sinold ko po siya using equation. But by the way, yung kanina, yung problem number 1, aside from using equation or formula na ginawa ko po sa pag-solve, pwede rin po yung reverse process. Now, in this problem number 2, reverse process po yung gawin ko. Ibig sabihin, hindi po ako gagawa ng equation. Sabi sa problem, sum of two numbers is 78. Find the smaller. So, possibly, itong sa choices are smaller number. Okay. Since 78 po yung sum nila, makukuha natin yung pares nila na number. Ano yung pares na number for letter A? So, isa-subtract natin. 78 minus 30. Then, therefore, ang result nun, yun po yung isang number. So, yan po yung ibig sabihin po po, class. 78 Minus 30, that is 48. Ibig sabihin, sa letter A, yung two numbers are 30 and 48. And ang sabi sa problem, the difference daw dapat ng two numbers 
is 18. Try natin subtract 48 minus 30. Okay? 48 minus 30, that is 18, which is not coincide sa problem. So therefore, iisipin na kaagad natin class na correct answer po ito. But take note, meron tayong mag-satisfy din na 18. Okay? So for me, correct answer na po ito kasi sabi sa problem, find the smaller number. And sa two numbers natin, 30 and 48, smaller number is 30. And then 30 rin yung nandito. Then therefore, correct answer is letter A. Sa actual exam class, pag satisfy na lahat yung condition, automatically, letter A na yung i-answer natin. Huwag na natin in mind yung letter B, C, D, and E. Proceed na tayo sa next number. For, for the purpose of discussion ngayon, ipapakita ko ngayon bakit hindi magiging sagot si B, C, at D. Let's try si letter B. So, yung pares na number niya, if ang total is 78, 78 minus 45 na given sa letter B, that is 33. So, sa letter B, yung two numbers, 45 and 33. So, dito pa lang class, hindi na talaga correct answer si B. Kasi sa dalawang numbers na to, yung nasa B is the larger number, not the smaller. Pero ang tanong is smaller number. So therefore, 45 minus 33, eto, hindi rin mag-satisfy. Kasi 12 yung difference ng two numbers. Eh sabi sa problem, difference is 18. So eliminate na talaga si letter B. Ganon din si letter C. 78 minus 33, 45. Kasi yung total diba daw, 78. So 45, then therefore yung two numbers sa letter C, 33 and 45. Correct sana kasi smaller number po itong si 33. Kaso, pag isubtract natin 45 minus 33, 12 pa rin yung difference. So, therefore, hindi pa rin sagot si letter C. Ito nakaka-tricky dito kasi si letter D, satisfy. Okay? 78 minus 48, 30. Then, therefore, the two numbers sa letter D, 48 and 30. Diba? Sum of two numbers, 78. 48 plus 30, that is 78. Okay? Ang difference din nila is 18. 48 minus 30 is 18. Satisfy. Sum is 78 also satisfy. But, ang question is find the smaller number. Correct si letter D if ang tanong find the larger number. So, si letter D ang sagot. Kasi sa dalawa nila, ito yung larger number. Pero yung tanong find the smaller number, ang sagot is 30. And ang 30, yan po si letter A. Okay, so, therefore, the correct answer for this problem is letter hindi si B, hindi si C, hindi, lalong hindi si D, then therefore, that is si letter A. Problem number 3, this is a fraction, 15, mixed fraction, 15, 1 third minus 8, 3 fourth. Is it letter A, 6 and 7 over 12? Letter B, 7 and 2 thirds. Letter C, 8 and 2 over 7. Letter D, 7 and 2. 2 over 7. So, let's try the given. So, paano nga mag-simplify mag nito class? Ito ha. Ito siya. Ito siya, i-multiply natin. Okay? Tapos, ito siya, yung result ng 15 times 3, i-add natin dyan. So, ganun din mangyayari dito. Multiply and then add. Okay? So, ang mangyayari niyan, ito na siya. Okay? So, 15 times 3, or 3 times 15, yan po siya, 3 times 15, plus 1, yan po yung sa numerator, as is lang over 3, minus 4 times 8, yan po yung 8 times 4, plus 3. Okay, so 15 times 3, that is 15. So, 15, no, not 15, 15 times 3, is that is 45, plus 1, 8 times 4, that is 32, plus 3, then over 4. So, ang result niyan, 46 over 3 minus 35 over 4. Now, hindi po natin ito madiretso subtract kasi hindi po parehas ang denominator. Sa fraction kasi, ma-perform mo lang pag parehas yung denominator. So, gawin natin, cross-multiply. Okay? Ano yung magsabihin sa cross-multiply? 4 times 46 and then 3 times 35. Ang result nun, I-add natin. So, ibig sabihin yan, class, ganito po siya. So, ayan, 46, 46 times 4, yan po siya. Then, 
46 times 4, not, uh, no, may mali po pala ako class, sorry, hindi po plus. So, sorry po nito, hindi po plus, kasi subtraction pala po ito, then therefore, isa subtract po pala. Okay? So, at least nakita ko po yung uh, mali. So, 46, 46 times 4, yan po siya, 35 times 3. So, kung ano yung operation nito, copy lang natin, kaya naging subtract. So, 46 times 4 minus 35 times 3. Sa baba naman, class, yung sa baba, ito siya, multiply lang natin. Okay? Kaya, kung napansin ninyo, you have 4 times 3. Okay? So, to simplify, 46 times 4, that is 184. 35 times 3, that is 105. 184 minus 105 over 12, that is 79 over 12. Okay? So, itong 79 over 12 class, ito yung hahanapin natin sa choices. Sino ba sa apat na to na equivalent to 79 over 12? Kung pansin ninyo class, malabo po na maging over 12 si letter C. Kasi 8, 2 over 7, and 7 over 2 over 7. Walang pwedeng i-multiply sa 7 na para maging 12. So therefore, eliminate natin si letter C at saka si letter D. So tanggal na yan and then tanggal na rin po yan. Okay. Eliminate na po natin. Next, itetest natin si letter A. Itetest natin si letter A, that is 6, 7 over 12. And then, ito siya, multiply natin and then i-add natin dito. Okay? So, ang result po niyan, i-multiply na ni add, iyan na po siya. 12 times 6, yan 12 times 6 plus 7 over 12. So, 12 times 6, that is 72. Then, plus 7 over 12, and that is 79. Over 12. Kung pansin ninyo class, parehas po. 79 over 12. Then therefore, correct answer si letter A. So, correct answer po si letter A dito class. Now, kung gusto niyo i-check kung tama ba si letter B, ganun din yung process na gawin natin. Okay? So, para ma-check natin, tanggalin muna natin yung sinulat ko. So, para ma-check natin kung tama si letter B, same process na ginawa natin for letter A. Pero dito class, alam na po natin na correct answer si letter A. So, ayan po siya, 7 to 3rd. Now, pansin niyo class, 2 3rd. Uh, dapat, gawin natin 12 ang denominator para magpareha sa answer. So, pwede na maging 12 pag i-multiply mo ito ng 4, then multiply din mo ng 4 yung numerator. So, pag i-multiply mo ng 4, ito times mo ng 4, times 4, and then ganun din dito times 4. Parang walang nangyari kasi parang nag times 1 ka lang. So, may iwan, that is 7, 8 over 12. Okay, bakit naging 8? That is 2 times 4, 8. 3 times 4, that is 12. Then after that, 12 times 7 plus 8, yan na po siya. 12 times 7, 12 times 7 plus 8. Ang result po niyan is 92 over 12, which is hindi po equal. Equal po ba ang tanong equal? Hindi. So, hindi po siya equal. So, therefore, ang correct answer dito class is, ano yung correct answer? Ito lang yung parehas. Okay? Yan yung parehas. So, ang correct answer po dito is si letter, letter A. Okay? So, yun po yan for problem number 3. Again, if may tanong, message nyo lang po ako sa Facebook or sa Messenger. So, thank you for watching. Huwag kalimutan, i-click ang subscribe para if may idagdag ako ng video, na lecture video, ma-update po kayo. So, again, your next topic ko po, Mathematics for Civil Service Exam, Frequently Asked Question, Part 8 na po tayo. So, I hope nakakatulong po ako sa review ninyo. And again, if may request po kayo, i-message nyo lang po yung problem sa akin sa messenger para magawan ko po ng lecture video. Again, thank you and have a nice day.